What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel. Okay, so we're here in Lavender Town after, you know, disposing of the Team Rocket members over at the Team Rocket hideout. Now it is finally time to go back to Lavender Town, well, which we are here, and uh, take care of a little bit of business that's going up in Lavender Town. Now remember, in our first visit we went up here, we were scared you know what. We were scared off our pants. So was Pikachu. I mean, take a look at the poor kid. Look at that. Poor guy, scared. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go through here. Now that we have the self scope, we can actually look at whatever ghost is going around here because that's the one thing that we couldn't get by. by. It was ghosts. So, I don't want to be bothered by any of these ghosts. Let's go ahead and use that repel. Now, one of the biggest changes here is that we uh, we will be able to see what ghost is going around right here. The other thing is we will be battling the Chandlers. Now, the Chandlers will be having ghost type Pokemon and now in this generation there's only three type of ghost type Pokemon or three ghost type Pokemon in all Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. And I forgot to... <laughs> wow, ain't that great. I forgot to do that. Um, there are three... Good God. There are three... There are three ghost-type Pokemon, Gasser, Hunter, Haunter, and Gengar, but they are also poison-type Pokemon, so that means they're also, uh, they are also weak to, uh, what was it called, uh, yeah, they're weak to, what's this, uh, to Psychic-type Pokemon? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Man, I'm, like, so not focused right now because, man, I completely forgot about this. Oh, okay, so this is the Horn Drill attack that we don't need. Gonna have to take this out, threw it away. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh wow. All right. Yeah, we don't. We definitely don't need that. We definitely don't need that. So we're gonna have to toss that out. So here we go. First battle against a ghost type Pokemon trainer. Now, in this generation, there are no dark type moves. Super effective moves come by uh, psychic type moves. Which, you know, in turn, defeat... Well, you guys know what I'm trying to talk about right here. Um, the only way you can defeat uh, these ghost-type Pokemon is through a Psychic-type Pokemon or a special attack. Any physical attack that you might use, like Low Kick, Body Slam, or anything like that, or even Normal-type attacks, won't work on these ghost-type Pokemon. So, the uh, Ultra Psycho should make quick work of these guys right here. And, uh, it's learning Psybeam. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting rid of Teleport. It's served its purpose. We have Dig Attack. You know, it can move us anywhere. It can get out of anything right here. Now, here we have the Chandler going, Huh! I'm saved! So apparently all these Chandlers right here are being possessed, and this person's telling me that, yeah, you can find a, you can identify these Pokemon through the self-scope. And here we have another one. He's like, Be gone, evil spirit! Hmm. Be gone. Coming up against the Chandler. Coming out with a Ghastly. Again, Ghastlies, Haunters, and Gengars are also Poison-type Pokemon. This makes them weak against Psychic-type Pokemon, which, you know, they're supposed to be strong against in the first place. I mean, in Generation 1, there's really only one Ghost-type move that I know of, and that's Nightshade, that actually works on these guys. So, I think I'm just going to be using Ultra Psycho here throughout the whole entire, uh, the entirety of this whole area. I don't know, I might, I might give person here and there, you know, a shot. These Pokemon trainers usually have uh, one Ghost type and Ultra Psycho. Ultra Psycho, you, you, you just go nuts, go ham on these guys. Now, one of the big things that these uh, Ghost type Pokemon like to do, they like to paralyze you with Lick. They like to confuse you with, uh, what was it, Confuse Ray? They like to screw around with you just a little bit. So just be aware of that, guys. That's why I normally take so long getting out of this place right here. And, uh, okay, so we got more trainers right here. Be cursed. Huh. Oh, these guys are definitely possessed. So he wants to fight. We got my Gaslit right here. I got my Ultra Psycho right here. Ultra Psycho. Psyche. Now he has two Psychic type attacks. Two very powerful Psychic type attacks right here. And it's just making easy work of these guys right here. I'm hoping that it will get to level 30 by the time we're done with this episode. So let's go with Confusion now. Let's, let's even them out just a little. And look at that. Ooh. 
so easy. Look at that. Level 28. Oh, this is the Ultra Psycho Show. The Ultra Psycho Show. Brought to you by, in part by Wendy's. And that is an elixir. Oh, crud. Okay, so that might... That might be a little bit of a problem. Oh, no. Not really. We found ourselves in Awakening. Uh, maybe... There might be... There might be a Chandler in here that has a ghost type that uses hypnosis, so be aware of that, too. And, uh, there is that ghastly, that pesky ghastly. And Ultra Psycho, just going ham on everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I thought ghost-type Pokemon were supposed to be stronger than psychic types. I thought that was the case, but nope. They fooled us. They fooled us. Okay, so the repels went off. Nope. Wrong one. Let's go back right here. Where's the repel? Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Let's see. Okay, and you know I'm gonna use those two hyper potions at some point. But then again, if I do, then it's gonna be it's gonna be a waste because I I think in the next room that's where the healing uh, panels are at. Not too sure. I don't know. I'm not even gonna use any of my Pokemon right now. My other Pokemon right here. So, confusion. Say goodbye. Oh, that's a critical hit. Very good critical hit. Very good victory. Chandler is waking up. He's like, where is the ghost? Every single one of these Chandlers are possessed somehow. And uh, there's another item that I didn't even notice. Ugh, oh, God. Okay. Alright, Moonstone, Nugget, man, I should have... Good God. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use this elixir. Okay. It was a waste, but... It is... Oh, wow. An HP up. It was a waste, but... It can give us a little bit of room. Who needs it more? Sparky does. Because, yeah, it may be our, one of our strongest Pokemon, but... Not entirely, f they're not super strong. Now here is the room. Th yeah, this is the room that I was talking about. The, the panels right here, they heal your Pokemon automatically. Just be aware of that. Um, you can always come in here just to just to heal your Pokemon. Right now. And we got another, we got ourselves another possessed uh, Chandler right here. And again, I'm I'm glad that these guys only have one Pokemon. Could be wrong with the guy. Could be could be chicks. Look at that. Everything's. Oh man, I probably should have kept that elixir. I don't know. When was the last time I ever used an elixir? Besides today. I don't know. But look at that. <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna beat you right here. Give me your soul. Hmm. These guys are being possessed and it's kind of scary somehow. Kinda is, just a little bit. And there it goes! First time we're meeting up against a Haunter, and Haunter's a little bit scary too. You can not actually capture a Haunter in this area too. But I would rather start off with the Ghastly. I don't know, it doesn't take that... It doesn't take that much to actually evolve a Ghastly to a Haunter. Especially if you get it from this area right here. And we go right here, look at that. Enter the Purified Zone, Pokemon are fully healed. Come on, child. I seal this space with a white magic. You can rest here. I'm gonna go in it again. Look at that. Killed up again. Oh, yeah, so I'm loving that. And, uh, well. Zombies! Damn, how many zombies? Like, what? How does, how does one spirit possess everybody? And I mean everybody from this area. I wanna know that. Diving yet again. Both cycle just making quick work of everybody. Oh yeah. Bye bye. And uh, Ultra Psycho easily going up to level 29. Level 30 is. Yeah, we're gonna get to level 30 before we we end this whole thing right here. And uh, grab this. Another nugget. Cool. All right. Extra money. And uh, this person right here is probably like throwing up somehow. All right. Chandler wants the fight. Chandler throws out a Haunter. Chandler about to lose because Haunter ain't got nothing on my Ultra Psycho. Look at that. There we go. Come on. Finished him. 
you know, it really, really didn't work, or it really, like, it really wasn't a good idea to actually have your only three psychic or ghost type Pokemon also be, you know, poison type Pokemon. It wasn't really a good idea because it's like, seriously, dude? I mean, ghost types are supposed to be stronger than, than psychic types, and right here, clearly, it's not. It isn't until like, I don't know. I want to say Generation. Yeah, Generation 2 brought Mistrevis, but that was just one ghost type Pokemon. Was I For me, it wasn't until like Generation 3 where you actually got to see the full effect of a ghost type Pokemon against a, a psychic type Pokemon. But by that time, you already had a dark type move. So it really wasn't really helping anybody out. Here we go, Psychic type, Psychic Beam, or Psyming. Oh yes, bye bye Say bye bye And look at that, level 30! Easy! Easiest level 30 ever! Grown. Hmm, I feel anemic and weak. Huh. That's kind of odd. Alright, so more repels. Okay, and found ourselves the X actor so might as well use that um yeah might as well use it in battle first time for everything I might get hit but uh, god I really don't want to use it but it's for the better good the embetterment of this whole thing right here okay so let's use it I have to okay and yeah just like my bad feeling said, oh god. Come on. Yeah, this is good, this is good. We can, we can use, oh, we can waste a few of our, uh, we can, we can use or some of our potions that we don't need. And there's that nightshade attack. It doesn't sound like it's stronger than, oh wow. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use that hyper potion now. I have a feeling that we're going to be using it again. Okay. Let's go. Confusion. Come on. Come on! Okay. Only time I will ever get hit by these guys. Wow. You, you see? This is what happens if you don't have a psychic type Pokemon for this. It takes... It just, it just takes a little bit longer for you to just get through this whole area. Me, again, trying to get through this in record time. And it's only, it's only been like, what, 13, 14 minutes? Pretty good stuff. I'm loving it. I yeah. am. And let's go right ahead and use that confusion attack. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some good stuff. Very, very good stuff. And he's like, something fell out. What fell out? Hair didn't fall out. It was an evil spirit. Huh. And we got ourselves a rare candy. Who needs this? Okay, so we already got three level 30 Pokemon. Let's see what Godzilla has. Okay. And then... Dubasaur right here. Mm, and what, what do we got with Hydra? I haven't used Hydra in a while. Huh. Okay. Um... It's gonna have to be Godzilla. But I have to beat everybody first. Um, okay. So this one right here, Hydra can take over because it shouldn't be a problem. And as you can see, be gone, intruders! Some scary stuff right here. And it's that scary ghost that we uh, encountered in the first place. Self-scope unveiled the ghost identity. And we have got to see what it is, and it is Marowak. Now, I know what many of you young people are thinking. Let's try and capture this guy. Let me show you what happens if you try and capture a Marowak right here. Nothing. It dodged a thrown ball. This Pokemon can't be caught. This Marowak right here is the spirit of the mo uh, the Mara or the Cubone's mom that got killed by the Team Rocket member. So, we have to defeat this guy. Or Chick. So, there it is. Easy victory. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be an easy victory, but this Marowak right here is a dead Pokemon that you're actually battling, and look at that. Grown to level 26, 
And the ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed. It has departed to the afterlife. Now, if you guys have watched, like, Pokemon Legacy or... You guys know what, what, what I'm talking about. Um, sad moment. Very, very sad moment. And right here, Pikachu is still scared off its pants. I'm sorry, Pikachu. Okay, so enough Ultra Psycho. Let's go with Godzilla. Godzilla, because we got ourselves one more thing to do, and that's go find Mr. Fuji. But look at this. Stop right there. Prepare for trouble. And make a double. Grandpa wanted to complain, so we're, we're settling him right straight. So render yourself invincible or prepare to fight. So here we are in our third battle against Team Rocket, Jesse, and James. Should be that hard, right? Coming out with the Meowth first. Hmm. Godzilla, going to defeat you. So simple. But this Pokemon is a little quick. It's a quick Pokemon right here, so go with the Ember. Here it is. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, you got burnt. You got burnt. Seismic Toss. Oh, I'm gonna get more money off of that. Let's go. Come on, Godzilla. You can do this. Seismic Toss. Oh, yeah. I'm digging that. So, come on. I wish it was an X attack. That way it would have done my attack back. But this is probably a special right here. And say goodbye to Meow. And this guy's coming out with the Arbok. So now they finally evolved their Pokemon right here. This Arbok is a scary Pokemon. So I'm going to have to go with the bigger guns. Critical hit. Takes a good amount of my HP. Ooh. So this one does not defeat it. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, so this is bad. This is very, very bad. So another Hyper Potion for my Godzilla Godzilla. Uh, that bite attack is gonna do some damage. Let's go with that Ember. Come on! You can do it, Godzilla! Ember attack. Come on, beat it! No! Okay, so. Another Hyper Potion. Or another Potion, or Super Potion, I should say. And that bite attack is really getting at me. Yeah, this Pokemon is getting... This Pokemon is strong as heck. Did not know that. But look at that. Godzilla comes through. It starts whooping the you-know-what out of all these guys. And here we come out with a Weezing. I'm going to stay with with uh, Godzilla. Weezing shouldn't be that, that hard. It might just poison me here and there, but... And this is probably where I get poisoned. Nope. Time for some uh, healing items. A lot of healing items that I'm using right here. Okay. And that, that sludge attack would lower my defense. Just a tad. Oh, God. It was a critical hit. And it poisoned me good. Okay. So, enough of that. Ultra Psycho, you gotta finish this guy off. It's like, nobody messes with my pal right here. And, uh, oh, God. Okay. Psybeam for the win. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Buh bye bye, bye bye. Look at that, everybody gets experience points and Team Rocket just got beat again. You will regret this. <laughs> no, I won't. It's like, looks like Team Rocket is blasting off again. Alrighty, okay, so I gotta, I gotta kill uh, Godzilla because I don't wanna walk and have him faint, so. Normally you would see Pokemon trainers uh, above Team Rocket members right here, but since we already defeated them, that's it. And here is Mr. Fuji. He's like, oh, hey, you came to save me. Thank you, but I came here to, uh, on my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Kivon's mother. I think Marowak's mo uh, Marowak's, uh, spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind uh, concern. Follow me to my, po my home, the Pokemon house, at the foot of the this tower. And uh, would you look at that? We're back here, and uh, oh, look at that! Look at that! We're back. Talking to this guy, Mr. Fuji, has been uh, had been praying alone for Cubone's mother. Huh? And what do you say? It's been it's so warm, Pokemon. Nice. Okay, never mind. I'm not even talking to you. Okay. So what's up, Mr. Fuji? It's like Raven. Your Pokédex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help you in your quest. 
We received the Pokey Flute. This is awesome. Upon hearing the Pokey Flute, sleeping Pokemon will sp uh, spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. Hmm, that's good. All right. That's great. All righty. So, we got a little bit of a choice. And I think I already know what, what kind of choice I'm going to be making. But stay tuned in the next episode, guys. My decision will come in just a little bit for all of you guys. See you guys.